Learning your child cannot hear well is tough, but knowing there is a resource to help your child with that hearing loss is life-changing for them. Today's sponsor, Carl Auditory Oral School, is enrolling for this fall, and Danielle Chalfant joins us here with all of those details. So we were talking a little bit earlier here off camera. I did not even realize that this school had been around for over two decades. Yep, that's right. We're celebrating wow. uh, 25 years this year. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, so tell us you. all about chaos. All right, so Chaos is Carl Auditory Oral School, and we're one of, of several really strong early childhood educational opportunities for kids here in town. Um, so we're really blessed to be in a region that, that's so well supported. So what we do is we support children who are deaf and hard of hearing in using hearing technology to develop listening and spoken language skills, academics, social interactions. Uh, the goal is that the kids will learn the skills they need and then be able to transition back into the neighborhood schools and learn alongside typically hearing peers. Wow, what a great Concept, goal and trajectory. Right? Yeah. yeah. So can students or kids with, um, maybe they're developing typically, can they also go to chaos? Absolutely, yeah. And so they're actually a great benefit for the kids who are deaf and hard of hearing as well. So what we've learned is that by surrounding our kids who are deaf and hard of hearing with kids who are naturally using spoken language in their play and throughout all of their activities, it actually helps our kids who are deaf and hard of hearing to learn language more quickly. I would totally believe that. Well, yeah, and plus you're getting a lot like more one-on-one -on -one instruction, which is very beneficial, um, not only to those typically developing, but also um, who may be hard of hearing. So if people are out there and they're interested and maybe they weren't familiar with chaos, um, mm -hmm. what is the best way for them to, you know, maybe can they come check it out? Because you are taking enrollment. Absolutely, yes. So we are enrolling for the fall of 2023. So for us, that's early August. Um, so folks can go to the website. Um, chaos.carl.org and there's an interest form there so families who are interested can just fill in some information uh, we'll give them a call and schedule a tour in addition to a tour we also have the children participate in speech and developmental screenings so that we can make sure that chaos is a good fit for them so um, for children who are deaf and hard of hearing and developing spoken language and kids who are typically developing, we can really offer excellence um, in an early childhood educational setting. But for kids who have um, other challenges, since we know that all kids deserve access to excellence, not just deaf and hard of hearing kids, not just typically developing kids. Um, so if we have a family that comes to learn about our school, who might have uh, maybe a speech delay that's not related to hearing loss or autism, then we really want to connect them to local organizations that are excellent at that. So we're going to help get them to connect it to the services they need to help their child. Yeah. What does a day look like for a student there at Chaos? That's a great question. So we serve kids from age three to nine at the school, um, and we have before care and after care. So that means that kids can come as early as seven in the morning, stay as late as 5.30 in the, after, in the evening, depending upon their parents' work schedule. Um, the kids for before care and after care, it's a mixed age group, so they have exposure to different play levels, different social interaction styles. But for the school part, that nine to three, they're in a small group. So five or six kids, two teachers. Um, they're grouped by their age and their developmental skills, their learning styles. And throughout the day, we do what you do in a typical early childhood classroom. So there's lots of music and there's arts and crafts and there's center's time and gross motor time. But infused in everything is lots and lots of practice <laughs> using listing and spoken language targets to help these kids um, get caught up to their peers yeah. so they can transition out. So then how do they transition out? Can they, is it a certain age they transition out or could it be like any age in that group? Right, it kind of depends on when they're ready. Every child is on their own trajectory. Uh, we've had universal newborn hearing screening here in Illinois since 2007. So very often we're finding out um, that a child is deaf or hard of hearing at birth or soon after, early intervention starts, and some kids are ready to transition back into the neighborhood schools early at age three or four. Wow. Others get a later start. So they might be with us until second or third grade. Okay. Well, Amazing work you guys are doing. That's awesome. for sure. Thank and you. They do offer a multi-child discount. So if it is something maybe that you have two children um, that maybe could benefit from chaos. Of course, we'll have all of this information. There's a look at their Facebook page um, and website. We'll have that linked up at sayliving.tv. But we do thank Carl Auditory Oral School for sponsoring our segment today.